Alright, what's up guys, it's Cody with 3 d and Technology. So, for this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing some Eastern, Eastern PETG 3D printer filament. So I haven't reviewed 3D printer filament before on this planner, so this is going to be kind of a new video topic format. So, especially in this first video, I'm going to explain more of the format stuff as I uh, go along with the video but essentially you got the print info like print speed, temperature, retraction different types of slicer settings for the filament to adjust because not all filament is exactly the same settings the main reason for that is because not all the filament makers use the same pellets and additives for their filaments. For example, East Sun, Prisa, Pro Positive may all use different quantities and different types of pellets which would result in different temps and speeds needed. So another second topic of interest to review filament would probably be the color of the filament. If you want to go into detail, we can probably do like the paint tone, I think is what it's called. The, like the color number of the specific color of the filament. Just to compare different ones. Because some 3 printer users want to try and match the filament color to an object's exact color they're trying to make. Or some males may be trying to match, for example, Prusa's. Blue PLA to hatch boxes blue PLA so close the to see how closer they match each other. Uh, another topic of interest could be the finished texture of the print, how it turned out, if the surface is smooth, how the rail lines look, how the color color looks, how some filaments come in natural, crude or transparent type colors that's supposed to be see-through type filament and then some have temperature change properties that could change the shade or the color completely so that's another in a topic we could focus on also I'm still from on the iPhone haven't quite got a studio camera set up yet but that's why the quality is the way it is if you was wondering but for this video it's going to be the ESUN e and it's going to be the PET G solid black 1.75mm filament so that's the filament that's going to be reviewed in this video I'll probably make a separate video later on of just the how to review filament in depth once I get the format down properly for reviewing reviewing the filament but we'll start out going with what's on the box it came in and then what's on the sprue, the label and etc and then I'll go with the simplified 3D settings for the filament if it's different than the default filament settings for that particular film that particular printer and what it changed to make it work better after that we'll do a print sample print to see how it prints and how it, well it works and then we'll look at the finished texture and overall print quality of it and that's going to pretty much be what this video is going to be about Okay, so here's the filament. It's Eason Eason 1.75 PET G3 filament, solid black, one kilogram. That gives you the print temps. So this is the box that's in. Pretty basic box, stable mountain point, good round shape, uniform diameter tolerance, and consistent kettles. So it's Shenzhen is Eastern Industry 
Industrial Company Limited. This is obviously a Chinese manufacturer, but yeah. So anyways, let's get to unboxing it. So here it is inside. Inside you got pamphlets, tips of how to print with it, and the Eastside catalog has their different filaments in it. So here's the filament. It says the same thing as those on the box. And so it's nice and sealed. So we're going to unseal it and then start a print with it. So here it is unsealed. You got the twist transparent spool like the other filament does. And it's one kilogram. So we're going to find out how it works, how good it does. Okay, so here is the Simplify 3D settings that I use for this filament. The main printer that I use is the Monoprice Select Mini V2 3 printer. So the main thing that I've already changed is the heat temperature and speed. The temperature I have set at 245 for the extruder and 73 degrees for the heat bed. For the heat bed especially you have to set it that temperature inside the slicer because on the three printer settings it can only go 50 degrees. If you try to adjust it with the knob and the settings in the menu. So you have to do that in the slicer program. I uh, also have the part fan knowledge were taped off. This isn't the case for every printer. I'm trying to get this printer where I can add a second fan to it, be a dedicated part fan, so that way I can test out test out 10% cooling on the part. But if you've used a Select Mini, you know they only have one fan and that's to do both the heat sink and part cooling. So I can't tune it down any lower than what it is already. And the speed it's at is too, too much cooling. So I have to resort to taping it off and working around that in the settings. But that is pretty much the simplified three settings for the monoprice like mini v2 for pet g if you use a presa three printer they have a pet g profile in the slicer program you may have to adjust the printing settings a little bit for the different brand filament but Prisa has a okay profile, I suppose. I haven't really got to test East Zone out on the MK2.5 yet. So here it, here it is printing. Okay, so here is a finished 3 print on the Monoplast Strike Mini B2 of the Black Pet G Eton filament. So as you can tell, this is how it's printed because you got the grass boot plate finish on the bottom. And if I can hold it right on here, you can see some of the end field because this is, this is a transparent black. Film it. So you can see a rub of the end fill. But overall, the print quality turned out really good. The lines are nice and uniform. There's not much issues printing with it. And here on the top side, you can see the finish. I 
know, like I said on the Sriracha part video, I don't use a part fan, so it's pretty much printing the arrow cuddles, I suppose. Caught. There's a few issues I still need to fine tune with this profile, like some of the bridging and retraction settings, but this is still an acceptable piece. Practice video on series first. Make sure to click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.